Welcome back, everybody, to the RSC. It's your boy, Hops, back at it again on the mic here to cast some fantastic RSC action. Today, I am joined on the broadcaster. Pablez is behind the scenes doing some brilliant work as he does, uh, making the stream run very smoothly. But on the casting deck, I am joined by the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. JSW. How are you doing, my friend? Doing good. We've got some really good games coming up, some deciding games this is the final week week 11 it's do or die now and it's going to be really interesting to see which teams come out and perform yeah indeed and this first game we have actually decides playoffs for the, these two teams it is voxel zafira versus asgard uh, and you know i'm so unbelievably excited to jump into this game but before we do we must have a look at a few stats Indeed. Uh, and if we can, if Pablis could do the honors and pull up some stats, we can start diving into where these teams are going to kind of clash. Where, who's going to have the benefit? Who's not? Uh, and we just go through, you know, go through looking at these team statistics. Uh, JSW, what stands out for you? Where's the pivotal moment? I think it's got to be goals for. If you look at Voxel Safira, 211 goals for compared to Asgard's 163. That's a major difference. Um, that's 50 goals. That's almost a quarter more. Um, and that's really impress uh, impressive from Voxel Safira. So we're going to be looking to them to see how many goals they can put onto net. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, it does look like Asgard is fairly good around that backboard, though, with the 276 saves, uh, which is almost 50 saves more than Voxel. So it, I think... Asgard's definitely going to be tested in defence. However, if Asgard can pull off the, the defensive strength, I do think their capabilities on counter-attack can be rather lethal. It's going to be see, it's going to be a real battle of that midfield, don't you agree? Yeah, it is. And it, this game could go either way. Uh, we're talking about two teams trying to get into that, either top four for Vox of Fira or just get into the top six for playoffs in Asgard. These teams need to control that midfield. And if they do, they'll manage to get some wins here. And that's what they vitally need. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And with these team statistics come player stats. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what players have been standing out throughout the season so far and uh, we'll be looking to kind of put the team not so much on their back but you know who need to step up in order to capitalize on it because just remember guys Voxel Severe is fifth and Asgard is eighth if Asgard beats uh, Voxel Severe it'll put him in prime position to get into playoffs uh, and Voxel will be definitely concerned uh, with their playoff contention but just going down here for Voxel it is Wills, Ralbone, Louis and Crocken versus Asgard Guards, Insomniac, Cosmic, Deadfang, and Zeon. Uh, talk to me here, Jacob. What am I looking at? Um, well, one thing I want to add is Crocken was recently signed to Voxel Zafira. He came in about 10 days ago. And yeah, you can see by his stats, he's a very good player. I remember casting him once um, and he played insane. He had a great series. So if he's playing tonight, he's definitely going to be one of those impact players. But also, if we look over Voxel Safira, Louis with 77 goals in 68 games, that's really good. That, like He scores goals and you can tell by the team statistics, they score goals and Louis is a key part to that. However, when we look down towards the Heavens Cool side, uh, I don't know, I feel like in uh, Insaniac's probably their top goal scorer. He's got 63 goals in 74 games, which is still very good. But their team, they seem to be more defensive orientated. Uh, so... I feel like Vox and Sofia are going to be putting on some more pressure here. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. And uh, you said Asgard is uh, defensive orientated. And I just glanced across the saves. Wills has 103 saves in 80 games. J JSW, tell me how impressive that is. It's really good. 103, breaking the 100 saves mark. That's really good for a player. Um, he has got 80 games though. And... Yeah, he's definitely, he feels like that third man for this team. He feels like that man who they rely on. He's played, is it all the games? Um, I feel like, I've got to do the maths now. Um, he's played pretty much all the games for their team and he's definitely the backbone to this roster. So, yeah, he's the guy that's there. He makes those saves. He ensures his team can move out into offence and he allows his teammates to score the goals. 100%, 100%. And uh, it's just, it's going to be hella interesting indeed to see how these teams face 
up and I think uh, you know we are just waiting for players to get into the lobby uh, I believe we have got Asgard ready and raring to go these guys are wanting to fight we are waiting on Voxel Sephira but I'm sure they'll be joining soon uh, another stat line I kind of want to talk about Jacob and uh, I mean you're an experienced Rocket League player you're a very good Rocket League player how important are those assists when playing in the team I mean yeah you have kind of solo plays but those assists surely those are that's something uh, you, you've got to be watching out for. Yeah, um, getting those passing plays, it defines the better teams in this league. If you can string uh, multiple passes together, you can get round defenders, you can open up space in the pitch, allow yourself to shoot. So the getting those assists is really crucial for any team in this league. 100%. And I've just had word in chat that Voxel is subbing up a prospect player, Carl. I mean, do you know much about Carl? Um, I don't know. I didn't expect this, so <laughs> I, I haven't really done my own research. So I, I didn't see how it fits in. Yeah, hundred percent. But we, I mean, throughout this whole season, I think it's definitely been a season where you cannot underestimate the leagues below you. We saw just last week Torchic stepping up into challenger um, and just absolutely popping off for his side and being incredible. I mean, and I'm sorry, one player we we constantly refer to you about stepping up uh, to a higher league is Rattles. Rattles, you know, on the Bionic roster, um, a Bionic Beavers roster, stepped up from Major to Elite and literally looked like one of the top Elite players. He's unbelievable. So anything is possible. I'm definitely looking for Carl to step up and help his team and not be uh, uh, too much. And of course, Ryan Master just said Hecky is well yeah oh my yeah. lord how could, how, how could i forget how could i forget so yes carl uh looking for you to uh, looking for him to step up uh, and uh, do a strong showing for this voxel Sephira side um you know any final thoughts before we go on to predictions uh i'm not really sure but yeah go, go mention hecky hecky with the uh stepping up to five different tiers that's insane um uh, well played to him and I, I think this game is really gonna be a, a wild one to predict uh, especially with the sub coming up and you never know which way to predict those because it could it could even help the team it could throw off the opposition a little bit so it's mm. gonna be really hard to predict this one um, I'll let chat decide 100% well chat uh, let's let's hear about these predictions indeed uh, I think there was a prediction bowl just before we started um, I don't know those results because I wasn't the one who put it up but it'd be good to find it out and maybe I'll check them in a second uh, um, but what about you I, I, if I put you on a spot do or die scenario and you have to predict what is your prediction going to be um, I think it's going to be 3-1 to Asgard purely because of a sub um, I think if Voxel Sphere had the full team, I reckon they would have taken it. But because they have a sub, it's going to throw things up. It's going to make it a bit awkward for Voxel. So I do believe uh, Asgard are going to take this one. And I believe it will be through one. I reckon Voxel will get a game here. They got the players, no matter if they have a prospect sub. Uh, so I reckon, yeah, free one to Asgard. But Voxel, they're going to put up a fight. Yeah, I, I I do agree. And this is no detriment to Carl. Carl is, a, I'm sure, a fantastic player. But it's just that chemistry and cohesion that you may lack having to bring up a sub. But Archeon has said 3-1 if Louis ain't playing. Because we did see Louis' stats in his scoring ability is so... Wow. <laughs> Hi, you know, so definitely looking for Louis to start, you know, to step up, uh, you know, considering, you know, there, there may be a start, but, you know, we are being told Ryan is saying you, we mustn't sleep on Carl. So definitely interesting to see how he pops up. But according to that poll, Voxel is come ahead with 64% over Asgard's 36%. So uh, interesting enough, uh, they're saying the chat is saying Voxel in a, in more proportion, but uh, players are in the lobby. I mean, I'm excited, GSW. I don't know about you. I am. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, it's going to be hard to predict. It's going to go either way. And it's do or die for these teams. They need to make uh, these wins to get into the playoff positions. Indeed. And an early goal for Asgard off a very good kickoff from Cosmic. A very good read from them. Will's just being a little bit too slow. And the second man not able to follow it up. Cosmic slots it straight in the back of the net. And I mean, JSW, what does an early kickoff goal like this do to your mentality? Oh, it's just got to hurt. It just hurts Hawks with Sephira. You come into this game and instantly you're a goal down. You're on the back foot from the very beginning. Um, but it's going to be a really good confidence boost for Asgard here. A goal up, they can try some stuff. They can maybe get out of that um, cagey sort of play style that you tend to see in game ones on stream. 
Yeah, 100%. And Cole getting a bit of an awkward touch over Louis. That's going to be suddenly like an opportunity to put a shot on goal. But Cole makes that save. Playing off the backboard. Cosmic is there. Touched it into the center. Cole is waiting. A good dunk under Deadfang. Puts the pressure away from their goal. And Somniac has to make a turn. Pops it high. Can he go for anything? Also over one. He does a flick. Can he dribble it in? He can't. Unfortunately, not able to capitalize on that brilliant aerial. No, it was really close there. And it just feels Asgard. They're putting on loads of pressure. Constantly uh, like putting shots into the goal. And that's really unfortunate there. The own goal. But there's nothing he could have done. Uh, put into a great position. And it's just that pressure unrelenting it just get put get kept getting put onto them and unfortunately there Louis couldn't get the clear puts his own, in his own net and it's 2-0 up now one minute in and Asgard looking really strong Asgard are looking really strong and I think they know they cannot give Louis the man on your screen any space to work with because he will capitalize on his opportunities. Cosmic now looking for that clearance. Does a good job playing it off his own backboard. Deadfang is there going for a clearance once again. Carl is trying to do a good job rotating and actually plays it under Deadfang. Loses the 50-50 out and once again we see Voxel on the back foot too. Good 50-50 between Cosmic and Wills. Wills coming on top. Louis, un you know, uncharacteristically missing his touch. Maybe wanting to warm up a little bit but Carl is there getting a good touch forward. Carl doing a very good job stepping up so far. He's being an anchor, making the touches when he needs to. Insomniac is up early, plays it off the corner into the centre. And Carl, once again, Carl is doing a very good job and he seems to be the only player stepping up for Voxel. Yeah, all the Voxel players, they seem to be sleeping and don't know what's going on. Carl with two saves already, he seems to be stepping up in a major way for uh, this team. And if there's a goal, straight away, Louis bouncing back. and That's what we want to see from him. He, we know he's a good player. We know he can score goals and he's showing it there. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant finish out of Louis. He said, you give him a little bit of space and he will capitalize on his opportunities. Now, back to just a one goal lead for Asgard, but Cosmic again. Is, you know, is this something you practice off kickoffs to be, you know, this consistent like Cosmic? No, it just comes down to the inconsistency from Cole. He just uh, misflipped and then it allowed and saying, just get a free shot and yeah, it's just a misplay by the defensor. A bit of a misplay costing the side of Voxel Zafira. And this could be, you know, purely down to the experience of Carl, these kickoffs. Uh, and definitely something that they need to look at to make sure they don't uh, go down again and further in this series. And Samniak with a shot and he pops it in between two players. And it just looks like the chemistry of Voxel Zafira is not present right now as you see two players both of them of which i think could have gone for the save and wills unable to get the touch that he wants to it just seems that voxel just are not awake right now no and i think that can be down to a sub coming in um not discrediting Carl at all but if you come into a team it's gonna throw up the chemistry a little bit it's gonna throw off rotations and it is doing that uh to voxel sephira here they seem to be a bit all over the place, not really in the right positions, not covering off the areas they're supposed to. And it's just meant they're getting just demolished on the defence. Constant pressure being put onto them and they can't really deal with it because they're not in the right positions to. Yeah, I, I do agree. And it's good to see Asgard kind of step up from their uh, generally defensive heavy, well, according to their stats, defensive heavy play style and uh, really go forward. But Carl now with an opportunity to push forward off a demo from Louis. However, and somebody that does trade it up and demos Louis back. So it should kill the, the attack. However, Will's doing a really good job winning that 50 50 into the center. Pass over to Deadfang, who redirects it forward. And now Asgard back on the pressure. A good touch from Carl. Cosmic tries to put a shot onto goal, but it is just wide. Carl now, can he do anything with this? He goes off the bad board, maybe looking for the touch in the center but not the best of touches goes straight to insomniac he gives him time to collect the boost and then knock it forward wills is there for that catch but insomniac doing a great job of landing on that ball pushing forward it's an open net opportunity louis not able to get the touch unfortunate and it just seems every attack that cause uh, that a voxel get it is just coming to zero fruition yeah it's that final pass it's not quite connecting they're not get quite getting that final shot final pass they need to uh, to put some pressure on and if they can't do that they're not going to score goals and they're not they haven't been scoring goals uh, but it's not looking too bad in defense at the moment they've had a solid minute here where they've been getting uh, pressure and they've been putting it onto the side of uh, asgard here so it's looking a lot better for them i think they're settling into this game a little bit uh, but it is that final third. They need to be stringing those passes together, make sure they can get those shots going. 
I, I do completely agree with you, and Insomniac is just being such a pain to deal with. Every single time you think he's out of the game, he's getting that extra touch, throwing the counter-attack off for Voxel, but Cull has an opportunity to push it forward now, but immediately we see Cosmic getting a nice touch in that midfield, throwing it off. Louis, now the danger man, can do anything, goes for that double touch, but cannot angle his car correctly, so the gold does not fall into the hands of Voxel. Nothing comes of it now on the counter-attack as Guard goes. Cosmic winning that 50-50 with Carl, and Carl gets demoed for his, you know, his misfortune. And somebody out pops over in the center. And Will Louis there, popping it forward. 20 seconds remaining. They have to score early, this Voxel side. Carl puts a shot on, but it is just wide. A huge clearance comes out of Cosmic. Louis is waiting back. He does get a bit of an awkward touch, allowing Cosmic to play into the center for Insomniac. Insomniac can't put anything to it. Is there going to be a goal? Dead Fang plays it off the backboard. Anything coming over it, but Louis once again making that save. Louis having to step up. The pinch almost goes to the back of the net, and it does. Dead Fang scores with one second remaining. It's 5-1. It is game over. Yeah, and that is a way to start off this series. What a way. At 5-1 in the first game, and that sets the tone for this series. Um, Voxel Sphere, they're on the back for the rest of this series. They need to make up for that loss there. Um, and that's going to really hurt their chances of getting that top four spot they really want. Mm -hmm, definitely that. Is the top spot top four spot they want? However, if Asgard keep up this momentum, it looks like it may well be a four-row sweep in their favour. Voxel Sphere is... You know, chemistry are just not there. But, you know, it is interesting enough. Uh, three saves coming out of Carl, the guy at the sub who has come up. He is stepping up in defense for this side. I don't think Carl is the problem. I think that Louis and Wills are just not capitalizing on the attacks and on the space that Carl is giving them on defense. Yeah, and it's down to that chemistry thing. Carl coming in, he's playing well, but he's they're not playing well as a team. They're not getting those passes they need to. And as I was saying in the... Uh, pre-show uh, they're just they need to get those passes going they need to control that midfield they need to uh, string the passes together to open up the play and they haven't been able to do that and they just haven't been able to score because of that uh, they're only getting three shots uh, on that the whole se or whole game um, it's just not really good enough and they need to start getting more shots on uh, if they want to come back into the series and get any sort of result yeah, definitely. I, I couldn't agree more. And we are going to dive straight into this game as soon as the lobby is up. Can Voxel Sephira bring their chemistry that they are known for to get a victory back on this series? Or is Asgard just going to completely run away with it? The teams are ready in the lobby right now. Uh, you know, do you, what do you think uh, is going to happen in this second game? Is Asgard going to keep momentum or is Voxel going to bounce back? Um, I believe, I reckon Asgard is still going to win this game, but I reckon Voxel, they're going to look better because they were looking better in that second half. As long as they can get their shocks going, uh, they have a chance for this game, but I do believe Asgard are going to take the second one. Asgard taking the second one is the prediction from the man with a plan. Jess W. Carl putting the ball forward now. Cosmic waiting on the back with a nice touch. He's going to follow up with a second touch and a good win of the 50 50 with Carl. Will's knocking it high forward. Uh, looking for that second touch. Redirect off the backboard. Anyone there to capitalize? No. Double commit from Asgard, but that was almost necessary to keep that ball away. Good win from Insamniac. He plays it along the backboard of the Asgard, of the Voxel side. But Louis waiting on a good rotation back. Cosmic once again putting the pressure on. The ball's bouncing high off the backboard. Carl there. A little bit of redirect from Louis and Carl doing a really Really good job putting pressure on. Now, this is an opportunity for Fox to capitalize. We see all three players of Asgard rotate back fast, and Dead Fang doing a really good job of um, challenging early on that bad board. And suddenly, out with a huge challenge, uh, and the ball is bouncing towards there. Double commit, uh, and Carl with that save. Uh, we see Asgard capitalizing on all the mistakes from Voxel, but a redirect from Wills almost puts the ball in the back of the net, and suddenly out going uh, very, very early, avoiding all the pressure. Now, nobody is back for Voxel. Can Asgard capitalize on it? Uh, Cosmic is there, plays it down, beats round, but Louis, really good job on his fast rotation. He had to get back, but he only has five boosts to worst with. Dead Fang is put in an awkward position. No touches coming out, and Louis misses that touch for the shot on goal. That was a prime opportunity. We've seen both sides getting an opportunity to score here and put a goal on the board, but nothing has come of it. No, it's not. And it, again, it's the final third. They can't get that shot they need to, and they're just not getting the goals because of it. And you need goals to win, it's simple. And they're not being able to put those shots on to get the goals. Um, neither team really controlling that midfield. It's a bit of boomable at the moment. Uh, both teams hitting it forward, trying to gain some ground, but ultimately just giving away possessions. So I want to see them take a touch, take some time, control the ball, look for your teammate, 
look for that pass and then look at it to get into that final third and get that shot onto net that they need. Uh, there's only been two or three shots this game so far um, and you expect to see more from a game that's halfway through. Yeah, I, I do agree. If one of the teams needs to stabilize. A bit of an awkward touch on it. Somebody is going to give an opportunity to Louis to score. A bit of a blunder on defense. Insomniac not getting the best of touches. And then I believe that was Cosmic who actually misses the ball. And a free goal for this Vauxhall side. I know Asgard are not going to be pleased with that whatsoever. Now, Asgard are down. It's the first time they've been down in this series so far. Can they bounce back? Well, I guess we'll find out, but there's another goal. Louis, again, just getting that shot, getting the goal, and now they're two up. Um, half a game remaining, and I mean, they look so much better than the last game. 5-1 in the first game, you didn't expect them to be 2-0 up now, um, halfway through this uh, second game. So really great yeah. start from Voxel Safira. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And it is down to that man who went for the kickoff, Mr. Louie. He is known for scoring goals and he is doing exactly that. Uh, definitely doing a good job in bringing his team back to this 2-1 lead for this second game. We see the ball now over in Voxel's half. Cosmic is up very early and actually wills. Uh, does a good job of reading the touch from Cosmic. Now the ball's still in. Voxel's half goal with an awkward touch. Insomnia trying to pop it over Wills, but Wills did a really good job of reading the shot. Uh, from Insomniac, Cosby doing a really good job in the air, and uh, but once again, the goal is not capitalized upon. Insomniac, Demery and Cole giving some space for the Asgard side to rotate back. And uh, Cosby once again off the backboard. Wills misses the touch. Cole has to get this shot. Can he get it? Yes, he can. And Insomniac once again in the defense, a bit of a double commit in the midfield for the Vauxhall side. We'll leave Wills a bit solo for a second and Cosmic is really doing such a good job of getting these follow-up second touches. Dead Fang misses his touch in that midfield, giving Cole some space to work with. He looks for that pass over to Wills. Wills does receive it, knocking it forward, but Louis not there. Louis much more prepared on the rotation just in case Asgard came with a counter-attack. Louis does go for that challenge in the midfield, but loses it. Good job from Somnia playing it forward, but now I think the difference maker is definitely Boxel's defense has stepped it up. Yeah, they have, and they seem to be a lot more composed. Uh, their rotation seems to be a lot better, and that's probably because the first game they played ever together um, with Cole was that first game we saw just now. Um, so now they've played together a bit, they've warmed up a little bit, and now they're looking so much stronger. They're moving out of defence and just putting some pressure onto Asgard, but Asgard now moving forward again, trying to find that shot. Cosmic having a really great series. He popped off in game one, and he's continuing to do so, but we need to see him score uh, now. They only have 45 seconds remaining. Uh, they have two goals we need to get, and it doesn't look likely. It doesn't look likely at all. This Fox of Severe side waking up indeed. They're going to have to score very quickly and very soon as there's 30 seconds remaining. Carl has rotated back and is acting as a very good third man. And somebody that does bump Carl, however, Louis gets a huge pinch. Carl not able to put the third goal in. 20 seconds remaining. They have to score on the next attack if they're going to give themselves an opportunity to come back in this game. Can they do it, Asgard? I don't think they can. It looks like Vox was well too composed. Cosmic does beat out. Cole for that touch, 10 seconds remaining, it's all but game over. It is, and what a way to bounce back. 2-0, kept a clean sheet, and they look so... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, about that clean sheet. <laughs> uh. Out of nowhere, out of nowhere, able to score that. A brilliant job from him, goal. indeed. What an angle that was, a little doink. I, look, I, I, couldn't expect, um, I couldn't expect that. That's not my fault, that's just an insane goal. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, absolute doinkages, absolute doinkages to put that one in. But it's good that they got a goal at the end. That will bounce them back. But Dead Fang, 54 points, and he has zero assists, zero save, zero shots. What's going on there? I don't know. He just seems to be a bit lost this game. He hasn't really been uh, doing anything. Cosmic and Insaniac, they're both playing really well. But you need that third man playing well as well. And he just hasn't seemed to be really getting involved in the game as he should be. So... I want to see him step up in this third game. I want to see him getting some pressure back on towards Vauxhall because they need it. They need to get that pressure back on because when they did in the first game, they scored. Um, so we need to see that from them again. Yeah, and Pablis, please can you give me a warning when we're coming back on cam? Because <laughs> the past two times I've been laid back in my seat, comfy, <laughs> watching the games on my second monitor. He cuts the cams. I look up and I'm on the stream. <laughs> Anyway, still... 
Uh, Voxel, really good job of bouncing back. We see three saves once again out of Carl. He's doing such a good job in that bat line for this Voxel side. The Gus, he's going to have to keep it up on getting these saves because it's giving Louis to opportunities and space to work with, to push forward and to get these goals. And we know he's good at capitalizing on it. Uh, right now, heading into the third game. You know, I'm definitely looking for Asgard to bounce back. I think I think they have the capability to. They just need to shut down the space and capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, they do. And it's going to be a hard one to predict this uh, third game because um, uh, Asgard now have the momentum. They've got that final goal at the end there and they just score straight away. So <laughs> the momentum coming from that uh, final goal really helping there. Yeah, 100%. And they scored off Dead Fang. Dead Fang, the one who wasn't playing as fast as, uh, you know, he should have been in that second game. That's really going to give him a confidence boost heading into, at the beginning, in the first seven seconds of this third game. However, good kickoff coming out of Wills. Uh, Dead Fang has to play it over to the corner. Louis does follow it up with another touch. Uh, Insomniac is there getting a nice booming clearance up to Cosmic who tries to redirect it towards the goal and almost capitalizing on it. But Wills does get there to keep the goal. Kill to kill difference, 1-0, and an awkward bounce off the ceiling, making it very difficult to defend. Carl not getting that read, however, his teammates were stacked in goal. Well, the only opportunity, only times where stacking the goal is beneficial. However, now, back on the attack is Dead Fang. Dead Fang really stepping up for his team. He wasn't happy with his performance, and you can tell, really wants him to bring it back. But Louis, the danger man, nice spot forward. Bit of a double commit once again, and Carl being that third man and playing that role to perfect. Perfection. He's not over committing. I'm very impressed with what he's doing. Yeah, he's really slotting in well. Um, definitely not being outpaced here in this uh, game where he's been moved up a tier. So he's looking really strong, but we need to see him getting forward, getting those goals, helping his teammates out, um, which he did do in that uh, last game. So we want to see them continue to do that. They are a goal down that for the moment. Uh, definitely have a possibility to come back here and we'll see what happens. Yeah, and that is a huge demo from Louis onto Dead Fang because that's open up things. However, Cole with actually a beautiful touch into the center. Louis not able to get the shot on. Demoing, uh, Demoing Cosmic who's able to get that save. A nice clearance coming out from Insomniac. Cole does pop it high. Double commit coming out of Asgard. Insomniac has to play the save. He decides to play it over into the corner. Maybe not the best thing because it puts Louis straight in the prime position. But Insomniac with a brilliant save off his missed touch. Good job from him. Wills on the counter-attack once again. They're trying to put pressure onto this Asgard side. But Asgard showing why their defensive stats are so high. They're not giving any room for Voxel to breathe on attack. Insomniac playing it around into the center. Cole popping it high. Giving his teammates time to rotate back. Good job from both sides on defense. And if it continues like this, Asgard will be taking the lead, but they are on the counter attack. They want to get another goal. Yeah, they do. You can never be too safe with one goal. Anything can happen. As we saw in the final second of that uh, last game, uh, Cosmic getting an insane angled shot. Like, I didn't predict that. Um, a one goal uh, lead is not safe. They need to get that second one, get that insurance goal. Um, and they're going to look to do that with Insaniac, pushing forward now, trying to find that um, extra pass he needs. But it's, again, the final third not quite connecting. Is that final? Oh my god, Cosmic! What? What was that? A brilliant touch into the corner, goes up and then just dinkity doinkages angle. JSW, tell me, that's impressive, surely. Yeah, that is really good. He he got up so fast, beating out Louis and then angling his car at the same time to get that ball down because it was hovering just above that crossbar. So he had to get above the ball, angle his car to hit it down into net. Really great shot, beating out the keeper in net as well. A Cosmic is having a fantastic series so far. Really popping off. He wants his team in playoffs and he is doing exactly that. Dead Fang now putting the pressure on the first goal scorer of this game. Wills is trying to counter attack and do something for his team but isn't able to get the touches that he wants. Louis once again missing the touches and these mistakes from Voxel cannot be had. Spinning Cosmic going up early. Decides to pancake it into the centre of Voxel's goal but Louis is there waiting coming off that backboard. Insomniac Playing it patiently. Knows that he's last person back. And does a really good job getting that clearance. Dead Fang not able to win that 50-50. And so, 
push forces Cosmic to have to rotate back and do a tight turn to get a clearance. Nice high clearance. Louis goes for that catch. And Louis, this is the danger man. He hasn't, he's been a bit quiet in this series so far, apart from one goal, uh, two goals, sorry, in game two. A brilliant save coming out of Cosmic from a hard shot from Wills. Cole playing it into the center. Can they do anything with it? No. Once again, the saves from Asgard are fantastic. Really good rotations from them. And, you know, this defensive prowess that Asgard is being, you know, has built up throughout this split is really impressing me. Yeah, they've been really strong in defense. Uh, that last game was a bit of a, well, I don't know, we'll, we'll ignore that last game, but this game, they've been solid, really, really solid. They've been controlling that midfield, getting pressure going, um, and they're getting another goal. And I, I'm not sure where any of the Voxel Sephira defenders were. They were either side of the pitch, no one back to defend that open net. Yeah, I, I think, you know, it, it's the sort of moment is that, as you're saying, the lack of chemistry just, you know, stood out then because there were nobody, no players had rotated back and all the players had pushed forward. And that lack of chemistry, you know, just regardless of how well they're playing and how well they showed us they can play in, in game two, it just sometimes lacks and it makes it very difficult to, in those sort of scenarios. And Dead Fang there trying to get a clearance. The shot just off the upright for Carl. That was an opportunity to get them back into this game, but he misses. He is not going to be happy with that shot whatsoever. However, now Asgard are on the counter-attack. Wills has to do something with this ball. He's playing it slow. Cosmic decides to play it back to himself. Uh, he's actually just making it a little bit awkward, but actually a very good job understanding that he was the furthest push forward and wanted to wait for his teammates. Uh, Carl now back in defense, plays it over to the corner and suddenly acts as a really good job reading and plays it off the backboard. Louis is there waiting. It's t eight, 10 seconds remaining. It is game over, JSW. It is, and I'm not going to say it's a clean sheet because I remember what happened last time, uh, but it, oh, it's still up. It's still going. Can they get that uh, momentum goal? No, they can't. Uh, but what a way to bounce back again. Asgard uh, coming back from that 2-0 loss in the second game. Now putting themselves 2-1 up in the series. And if they get this final uh, game, up, they're going to be in a really good position to make playoffs. 100%, 100%. I'm just going to clarify with um, Archeon exactly what happens if they win 3-1. So uh, definitely going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, I I'm very excited to you know learn and what happens if Asgard wins 3-1 um but it, it's still all to play for if they are beating the fifth seed that's gonna I believe according to the stats um uh, we saw the stats created um during the RS caster um it means it, it almost counts for double does that make sense and so uh yeah. It, it means Sorry. that yeah, it means that uh that uh, Voxel will be bumped down double and Asgard will be bumped up double because of the way that the stats lie. So this is really, really good for this Asgard side and they will be definitely very confident heading into this game number four. W what do Voxel really need to do to make sure that Asgard, you know, they make sure they make it a tie? Um <sighs> I'm not really sure. They need to ensure that their defence is really good. They need to make sure both the rotations are there because they've been caught off a couple of times where they don't have that player back. And they need to be fast. Get those passes to Louis because Louis can score. Uh, one thing I want to mention is uh, I think the scheduling's wrong in um, <laughs> uh, in uh, schedule or fixtures, uh, league fixtures. Because it said um, uh, this game was on the 23rd. And I got really confused there when you were... Uh, talking about that so sorry about that <laughs> no no um, it's okay it's okay it's okay um but yeah it, interesting is it, it very interesting and you see pressure coming out of voxel very fast and very early uh, definitely wanting to uh, bounce back in this game we've seen them bounce back before they're very good job of cosmic reading carl's pre-jumper tried to get a redirect from insomniac's touch insomniac did a really good job putting the pressure on plays it into the opposite corner and bumps carl as well into i believe that was into stewie that bump and so right now insomniac playing kind of this disruptor role you know making it annoying being a nuisance just making voxel Safira uncomfortable and that's kind of what you need to do sometimes and cosmic playing it off the backboard dead fang is there can he put the shot on it is not powerful enough to put the shot he needs to score those opportunities yeah he does and he slept out last game like i was saying the second game wasn't really there wasn't really doing anything Sec uh, third game really stepped up started putting some shots on got a goal um but now he needs to start getting those shots getting a bit more power on them because he's getting them on target but they're just too easy to save and yeah more power and he needs more accuracy and then he'll start getting those shots going 
Yeah, 100%, 100%. We know he has that capability. We saw it in the previous game. It just depends on whether he can execute it. Cosmic, though, the man on the ball, he has been incredibly impressive throughout this whole series. Being an anchor, and Carl is going to score an own goal. Oh, no, Carl. Uh, that is so unfortunate for Carl. Just getting a really unlucky touch. Cosmic just hitting it onto his car, and I mean, he was just a passenger at that point. Yeah, and actually, um, you know, Cosmic putting Welp, uh, you know, into the uh, into the chat. Maybe a bit of BM. Cosmic getting into the Carl's head right now, and you know that Carl is going to be feeling it. He wants to step up, and he is a very good player, but just you know, unfortunate chemistry, you know, happening there, and unfortunate timing. It, it, it's definitely going to affect you, surely. Yeah, and if you're coming up into a uh, higher tier, you want to be playing well, you want to prove that you can be that tier. And if you're scoring own goals like that, it's going to really hinder your confidence. 100%, but we, Wills going for that redirect off the side wall. Carl there playing a little bit more up front. Louis getting a nice touch forward, keeping the pressure onto the Asgard side. Deadfang not getting the touch they want to into that corner. A little bit of a slow game. We know he can pop off. He just has to, you know, find his intent and find his rhythm. A good touch forward from Deadfang is going to put Asgard, uh, put Voxel on the back foot as the bombardment comes. And what a finish from Insomniac. Yeah. I mean, what a shot. I mean, we were talking about Deadfang and not getting that power and accuracy. Insaniac with a, a powerful, accurate shot. Really well done by him there. Yeah, Insaniac absolutely on fire and definitely you know, a contender for MVP of this series. But I think right now we can both agree that that is going to Cosmic from the way he has been playing. Yeah, he's been playing so good, getting those insane shots, just really putting on that pressure, causing issues uh, for the Vauxhall defence, and he's just continuing to do it. He's been on form this series, and he really wants to push his team into that uh, player position. 100%, and we saw this Asgard side ready and waiting for Vauxhall Sephira, um, you know, uh, in the lobby, way before they had arrived, and, you know, they're definitely prepared for this for this game and look at the teamwork from Insania and Cosmic. We just appreciate this for the moment. A brilliant job from Insania beating out Carl. Pops it over to Cosmic who was there. What a finish and even Louis in the chat saying great pass because it was a great pass. It was, and um, I mean, the chemistry between um, Cosmic and Insaniac, it, it's clearly showing. You can tell they've been playing together for a while now and they've been putting so many passes and shots together. It's just been really great to see. It has been really good to see indeed. Uh, and there, uh, you know, Voxel down 3-1. It's going to be so difficult to bring it back uh, with the rate at which this uh, Asgard side is playing. Um, but it is doable. You know, we, you know, we've seen comebacks like this happen throughout this split. Uh, and, you know, especially with a player such as Louis on the Voxel side, if he pops off, it's going to be so difficult. But Carl, touches like that is not going to help his side. No, it's not. And it's looking really dire now. Three goals, one minute 20 remaining. They need to get a goal right now. They need to put some pressure on and just go all out. But the pressure's been being put on to them. And they, to be fair to them, they've managed to get out of it. Cole trying to move it forward. And could this be a goal? Cosmic can't quite get it. And it is. Um, Louis there with the goal. I mean, a minute left, two goals. It's possible. Yeah, it's definitely in. Cosmic saying no boost to do anything with this. But... Great finish from Louis, but that did come from Carl. Carl is stepping up, you know, and it, it is good to see uh, the, you know, him bring his team back and be there for his team. But, uh, you know, it, they have to produce two more of those moments, you know, and it is going to be incredibly difficult, especially with Cosmic in your back line being a pain in the ass and shots coming out from Saniac like that. It's so difficult to break out of this setup. Yeah, and there's just so many shots being put forward. Insane with another amazing shot. Power and accuracy. That is just what he's been delivering here. Another shot into the top corner. So much power, so much accuracy. Wills just can't do anything about it. It's, what, a, what a shot. What a shot. I mean, we've seen two back-to-back -back goals from Insaniac where they are pinpoint accurate. So finding needles in a haystack. Really impressive from him, and uh, it, you know, I, I I don't want to call it earlier, but it's all but over in my opinion. And uh, this Asgard side really came out to play. They want that 
that playoff spot. They know that they can get it. And if they win this, they would have put themselves in very good position to do this. Uh, and, you know, it props to them. And almost another one from Dead Fang. But uh, just off the upright, I think Louis was able to get a touch on just about. Uh, Will's now playing it forward. Uh, it, you know, it, I, I don't think it's possible. No, it's, yeah, it it's isn't. Done, it's, it's game it's over. And Asgard, credits to them. They've come out and they played really good. They've had such a strong series. Got the 3-1 result, as I predicted, my ad. So, yeah, really great result for them. Yeah, a beautiful result from Asgard. They take this series three to one. And Archeon, if you are in the chat, can you confirm to me what this means for Asgard? Where do they end up sitting taking the series three one? Um, Discord me, you know, it'd be interesting to find out. Uh, but uh, a huge props to both sides. Asgard looking incredibly strong indeed. Uh, they're wanting that pl that playoff spot. They have got a few more games this week. I do. They've got one more game this week, I believe, against Marbs' side. So uh, definitely interesting to see how it gets going. Um, but yeah, I mean, JSW, give me kind of your overview from a you know uh, from a player point of view of, of how how that game went. I think it just came down to Insaniac and Cosmic, just their play. They were so aggressive. They were so consistent. They were so fast. So just in the face of the opposition, getting those shots, getting those passes. And I don't know, Voxel Sphere, their rotations weren't there. Uh, credit to Cole. He came in and he did step up and he did do a really good job. But it just wasn't enough. And the shooting from Insaniac, what, 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 sh what great shooting. He really did step up there. Yeah, he really did step up and uh, his actually was incredible. Uh, but I think the man of that whole series, the player of that whole series was Cosmic. Uh, you know, the amount he had so many highlight plays uh, throughout the whole series. Uh, and whenever he was in uh, the back line of Voxel Zafira, he made it so difficult to do anything. And uh, uh, Pablis, if you can hear me, which I'm sure you can, maybe we can get Cosmic in here for a chat. I'd love to hear his mentality, uh, you know, after that game. Because uh, according to Archeon, they are now tied in sixth spot. Yeah. And so that is huge. And so this game was big. But their next game, I believe it's uh, tomorrow, um, is the big one. If they win tomorrow, they are almost guaranteeing themselves a uh, player position. Yeah, um, they're playing the obscure. I'm not sure if it's tomorrow or not, because um, on the fixtures uh, for Challenger, um, you know, the uh, image we get, uh, which is really, really nicely made. However, it says this game was on the 23rd. Well, it's the 24th today, is it not? Um, yes, it is the 24th. But, you know, it, mistakes <laughs> like that happen. I know. I'm just I'm confused it, when it is. It happens. It happens. Um, but definitely, uh, ah, it, it it's going to be. Yeah, so if this one got rescheduled. So this one was, was, a, was a big one. And tomorrow's game is even bigger for them. If Vasco can turn up like they did today, I, I don't see them losing at all. And so... I'm fascinated to see what happens uh, and to see what is going on. But yes, Pablis, maybe you can try and get Cosmic in here to have a nice chat with us over uh, that previous performance. And I believe he has entered the VC. Cosmic, how are you doing, my friend? Um, I'm good. How are, yeah. how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fantastic. I'm great as always. I mean, you just came off a really nice 3-1 win over Voxel Sofia. That's putting you joint sixth. Right now in Ooh. playoff contention, so Lovely. your your series uh, tomorrow is definitely a big one for you guys to get that W. Uh, but how do you feel after that victory over Voxel Zafira? Um, honestly, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get an air dribble across the map. I did go for it <laughs> twice, but it didn't go in. But apart from that, I feel like we did pretty well. Like everyone was playing on form as well, which was which was great because we kind of need it, especially being the last week uh, and our last chance to get playoffs. In fact, that's just put us up two positions and put us in playoffs, potentially. Then uh, that's pretty that's pretty good. Yeah, it's, tomorrow's definitely your big one. Uh, yeah. If you win if you win tomorrow, then you'll have... Uh, make or break. It is a make or break moment. But, you know, in my mind, if if you guys are playing like that, it's, it's going to be so impressive. Uh, I've got one more question before I hand over to JSW. Um, 
Uh, you were absolutely fragging out your R M V P of that series for certain. Um, you definitely I had didn't some... keep <laughs> track of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, M- R M V P for the season. Uh, incredible play for, uh, of the season of the series, even incredible play uh, from you. But we want to quickly touch on Insaniac. He had in- incredible pinpoint accurate shots. What's it like oh, yeah. to have somebody else on your team who is uh, as aggressive minded and someone else you can put shots on like you do? It's it's great because when obviously you're getting a great shot on and then if you if they save it, then you've always got because you think the same, you've always got somebody following it up in the same sort of position, but not where you are. So you don't end up double coming. It's it just seems to fit perfectly like this roster, what we currently have. It just seems to be doing great, like having Insaniac as well. His mindset is awesome uh, to play with. So. It's uh, we bounce off of each other as well, like good mentality and everything. So we were keeping proper positive throughout. Even when we uh, lost that second game, we was like, we still get the three one, no problem. We got it, yeah. and uh, we got it in the bag, kind of thing. Like even though we don't know if we did have it in the bag or not, because they did play well second game. Uh, we wasn't expecting it, um, but overall, it, um, yeah, it's a, it's a great teammate to have, to be honest. That's really good. And JSW, any questions for Cosmic? Um, I want to know what your thoughts are going into that game tomorrow against uh, the Obscure. <laughs> do you do you reckon you can take it? Uh, I reckon we can take at least a two-two. I'm hoping for a three-one or four-zero, but I'm I'm probably maybe a two-two, but I'm hoping to see a three-one at least. Yeah, I think that game's going to be really interesting. It's going to decide so much. Uh, it's going to decide who gets sick. Fifth Neptune, if you win. Uh, it really messes up Neptunium's uh, chances of making playoffs. Um, yeah. And then it messes up Obscure's chances of getting top four. It's a really big deciding game, that one. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of happy as well with tonight's performances on top of that because I've recently uh, made the Dominus. So I'm going. I'm trying to benefit my mechanical side because I like going for all those fancy plays and get, being in the Dominus just helps, obviously, because <laughs> it's just a flat car. It's great for getting those nice pinches. That's yeah. very good. That's good to hear. It's good to hear <laughs> indeed. But yeah, um, as we, I don't know if you're reading chat on stream, but Arkin has said you guys need to win as much as you can. As you are, you're, you're tied this six, seven spot with Neptunian. So it's a head to head. So if you can win, yeah. you can get a four road tomorrow. You're, you're doing yourself a real big justice indeed. Uh, um, and so it, it, it's, it, it could be, it's an interesting game. And I'd be definitely looking forward to seeing the outcome of that. Well, it's on stream, isn't it? I do believe so. Uh, you'll, you'll get to see outcome live. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, massive props to you, Cosmic. You played absolutely lights out. It was a pleasure casting you. Thank you very much for coming in here and having a chat with Thank us. Thank you for having me. Awesome stuff indeed. So guys, uh, we, you know, that was a fantastic game. And as we see, it's re- massive games this final week. Uh, and you'll see tomorrow Asgard playing against the Obscure for that sixth spot, the final place for playoffs. Um, definitely interesting. If you want to tune in, please do tune in same time as today. But guys, we are going to jump to a quick break uh, before our next game. The next game uh, in this uh, on this stream is going to be between uh, Arena Tribe and uh, the Fiat Multiplus side, uh, two very extremely strong sides. I believe they are placed one and two. Uh, Rina Tribe need two sweeps to finish at the top number one spot. Can they do it against this very, very strong Fiat Multiplus side? You guys have to stick around if you want to catch out the result. Don't go anywhere. Grab yourself some coffee, grab yourself some water, grab yourself some food, because we'll be right back for some more RSC action.